Namaskar. I am here in Ramakrishna Mission Vivekananda Centenary College. Today I am with Dr. Bikram Chakraborty from the college as well as his PhD student Ritam. Is that okay? Yes. Okay. So today we are going to solve the problem of whether the harmonic series sum diverges. Karno, can you explain the harmonic series? What is the problem? Harmonic series is a series of fractions 1, 1 over 2, 1 over 3, 1 over 4, etc. Now we want to show that it diverges. That means that the sequence of the total sums over time has no limit, no horizontal asymptote, anything like that. So that's what we're going to be proving today in three different ways. You solve uh, one way, and after that, Sarah will solve another way, okay? Okay. So let's start. Harmonic series is the series that is 1, 1 half, 1 over 3, 1 over 4, 1 over 5, 1 over 6, etc. So the reciprocals of the natural numbers. Now, one may look at this and think it converges because you have 1, 0 0.5, 0 0.3. 0 0.2, 0 0.5, 0 0.2, 0 0.16, and so on and so forth. So you may say, oh, it is decreasing over time, unlike a lot of sim uh, similar series that diverge. So that means that it has to convert. Uh, yeah, we are talking about harmonics, right? Yeah. So that means we will put here a plus, right? Is it? Right. Yeah. So this is the series. So now we want to take the infinite sum of the series, Dr. Chakraborty mentioned, and see if it, yes, if it has an asymptote. So what we mean by that is that we have this function, this sum, so n equals 1 to x, so is equal, so 1 over n. So then at this point, it is 1, so 1, 1, right over here, 2, 1.5, so like this, 3, 1.83, so like this, 4, it's going to be, let me think, 2.08, So let's put that right over here, and so on and so forth. So it may look like the slope is decreasing over time. That's good, right? That means that it eventually will have a horizontal asymptote. Well, unfortunately, that is not the case. So essentially, what we want to happen is we want, over time, for this to be converging, this to be less than 1. Let's visualize that on the graph. What does that mean? Now actually it looks like this may already be a slope less than 1, but that's because we have massively scaled down this graph. This slope is still, I believe, about 2. Uh, well, it's 0.25 and 1, so it's actually 4 over here. So this slope keeps decreasing and decreasing over time. Wait, no, it's not 4. Oopsies, oops, oops. This is 1 over 4. This is 1 over 3, 1 over 2, and 1. So it may seem, well, it's already less than 1. That's good, right? Well, we essentially want the ratio of the, these slopes of these adjacent lines to be less than 1. Because if it's equal to 1, like this, then it will look like a straight line, eventually. And straight lines never stop increasing, right? So that means that it won't convert to equal to or greater than 1. So let's test that. So this is just a limit as k approaches infinity of a of k is just 1 over k. Oh, not 0. And this is a of k minus 1 or 1 over k minus 1, which gives k over k minus 1. Wait a second. Oh, right. Oops, I switched it up. This is supposed to be this. So, oh, okay. So this gives. Oops. 
29. Okay, so this gives k minus 1 over k. As k approaches it, this approaches 0, making this just 1. Meaning that eventually, as it slope lessens and lessens, it will just start looking like a straight line that never decreases in slope. So that it does not hurt. Zuali, correct? And that is a very easy proof. Okay. So for this, uh, what I draw, I draw the uh, I consider this function. You know this function, Shuvono? Uh, yes, that is a 1 upon x. Right. right? The yeah. yeah. Right. So, see, so this is a 1. Yes. Correct? Uh, ah. This is 2. Uh, yeah. So, I think you recall so this, right? Yeah. 4, right? So, this is n. This is n plus 1, right? Yeah. Okay. So, now. I'm drawing this kind of rectangles, right? Mm -hmm. So like a right, like yeah. Oh. So yeah. So what is the area of this? Oh my oh so the area Yeah. So the area is uh, what is the area of this rectangle? Like this is a one and this is one. So this is one, right? Yeah. And what is the area of this rectangle? Uh, this is one, this is okay. one upon half, right? One upon two, right? So this is half, and then this, oh. this is one third. And what is this? Oh. This is 1 by n, right? Yeah, so this and this area, and this area is obviously oh. bigger than bigger the than area than. bounded by, right? Yeah. So, right, I can write this. Can I write this? Yes. Yeah. What is this? Ln x. From like ln x plus 1. So, so ln x. So you know, ln of 1 is 0. Yeah. So, so what I have seen, this sum, yeah, this and sum is greater or equal to ln of n plus 1, right? Yeah, and this one does not approach it. Right. Yeah, so. What about this? This one does not approach it. What about this? You know? Yeah. This is going to? So obviously this is bigger than this, right? So limit. So limit of this must be, right? Huh? In this way, you can also do another diagonal. Uh, one by in L. Yeah. Very nice.